Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing the lip swatch video on the new Artist Acryl Lips from Makeup Forever. So they actually sent these to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to do a lip swatch video on these. So that is what I'm bringing to you guys today. But before we get into this lip swatch video and kind of like dope or no preview on these, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell as well. That way you get notified for future videos. Now let's go ahead and get on into this lip swatch dope or no preview. Yes. All right, so first off, this is what the packaging looks like right here. It's just a little tube. It has a total of 0.23 ounces in it. And also it has a cushion-like applicator on it. So these actually were launched in like spring of 2016, I believe, but they have a wand applicator. And so they are relaunching them with new packaging and I believe also new formulas. So I thought that was pretty interesting and they came out with 10 new shades. I do not know again, like when these are gonna be launched. I looked everywhere, could not figure it out when they're launching. So that's why I thought this would be good to give you guys like a little sneak peek of them and kind of see the colors and see which ones you like. So now going into the product real quick, these are really easy to apply. They glide on really easily. They are very pigmented. It says that you could have like a light, you know, layer and like build up to it. These are not light at all. These are pigmented and bold. So I think it's almost like a medium coverage, not a light coverage, which is really good. Only one that was a little patchy was like a dark purple. I think it might've been 600. And that one I noticed it was like a little bit patchy but if you build onto it, it was like totally fine. But yeah, what was really awesome is that you could definitely build it and it doesn't feel like gloppy or like you have a ton of product on your lip. It felt really nice. These are really nice, comfortable on the lips. They do transfer, because I noticed they transfer a little bit on my teeth. So if you do that little finger trick, you might be like, okay but they definitely do transfer. At first when I looked at these, these remind me a ton of the Too Faced Matte Longwear Liquefied Lipsticks because of that same cushion-like applicator and everything. And they definitely do kind of remind me of it, but I noticed that these ones kind of stay more in place. The Too Faced ones were tend to feather out. These ones, not so much. These actually felt like they were like a little bit more like in their spot, you know, they weren't gonna move, yet they weren't drying, so that was really nice. I thought the formula on these were really nice. The only one I wasn't the fan of was 200. And that one is a cotton candy pink, which it kind of came out kind of streaky. I don't know, I didn't like that one at all. It was just really weird. It just didn't sit right on the lips, but everything else I really liked. Um, going into the shade range, they came out with 10 shades. They're very vibrant and bold. like. A lot of the colors, honestly, 99% of the colors are colors that I would never wear. So I just thought it was kind of weird that they didn't come out with any neutral colors or any like, you know, everyday colors. Um, the only color that I would wear is shade 400, which is like an iconic red. That's the only shade that I would wear <laughs> out of them. Um, but everything else, it was just a little bit too vibrant for me. So I'm not the biggest fan of the shade range, to be honest. I wish they would have came out with some more neutrals. So if I had to go into this and be like a dope or nope type of thing, it's kind of hard because it's gonna come down to preference. Like it's not a horrible product. I think you can definitely wear it throughout the day. It's gonna last a long time on the lips. It might transfer a little bit. They're comfortable. If you don't like the really drying, pigmented lip colors like a liquid lipstick, then you're gonna like these because these are gonna be more comfortable on your lips and they're gonna last for a long time too. And they actually stay in place pretty well. But if you're not into the vibrant and bold shades, then I don't think you're gonna like the collection. So it's really gonna come down to preference on this one. So I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. For me, are these gonna be something I'm gonna gravitate to every day? Probably not because there's not really a shade that I can wear every day. Everything's just way too bright for me. So that was kind of a bummer. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it to you guys. If you like the vibrant shades, you'll love this. But if you're not so much into them and you really like the neutrals, then you're probably gonna pass on these. But let's go ahead and swatch them real quick. So also here are the lip liners that they sent me to match with them. So I'll tell you guys the ones that I paired with each color. And each of these retail for $19. And they're already for sale on Sephora. These have already been out. They're not like new or anything like that. But let's go ahead and get on and do it. So the first one that we have here is called 200. And this is the Cotton Candy Pink. This was the one that I noticed went on very streaky on my lips. I don't know why, but it did. 
but as you guys can see, it's very cotton candy. Yep. It's a very just like bubblegum pink, to be honest. And then I also paired it with 20C, the lip liner. So you can see those are very similar. This one has a little bit more warmth into it and the acrylic has a little bit more of a cooler tone to it. So, but they worked out perfectly fine. So that's that one. All right, so next up we have shade 201 and this one is more of a fuchsia pink. So here we go. We're getting into like those Barbie colors. Super bright. I mean, yeah, it's fun, but it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna use every day, to be honest. But it's a very pretty color. I really like the cooler tone in it. And then I also matched it with 16C in the lip liner. So these lip liners are also waterproof, which is really nice. I really like the lip liners, you guys. They weren't like super creamy to where they're gonna like break on you and they're gonna move on you. These were creamy enough to make it glide on really easily, but they were dry enough to like stay in place and just work. So I really like the lip liners. I suggest trying them out. Um, but yeah, there's a the color. You can see those are very, very similar. All right, so next up we have shade 202 and this one is more of a coral pink. So you're gonna see this one has a little bit more of a warmer tone in it. Again, dude, I really like the applicators on them. I'm usually not the biggest fan of a cushion like applicator, but these just really worked well. And when you squeeze the product, it comes out just perfect. Like it doesn't like glob out, I don't know. I really like the applicator on it, but there's that shade. So as you can see, it's a very corally pink. And then I also paired it with the shade 18C in the lip liner. And this one is more of a lighter coral shade. So I kind of just try to work with what they sent me. Um, I noticed that this one was like the best one for that one. All right, so now we're into shade 300 and this is an orange, you guys. Like I just snapchatted about this one too and I'm just like, oh my God, this just would not work for me. It's very orange. I think that would look stunning on people that have like an olive skin tone or yellow undertones to them. That would look, oh my gosh, if you had a really nice tan, that would look really pretty on you. It doesn't work well on me because, yeah, those colors don't look good on me. But I also paired it with 17C that they sent me and it's just like an orange lip liner. Well, there you go. All right, so next up we have 301 and this one is more of a poppy orange. So you can see that it's got a little bit more coral in it. It's really pretty actually. I think that one I would actually maybe wear during the summertime, especially if I had a little bit of a tan, I would really like that. And I also went and paired this one with 18C because again, it was more of a coral shade. So I paired that one with it. Worked out really well. But yeah, that is, that is probably another shade that I would wear too. All right, so next up we have shade 400. And this one is a iconic red. I like this one because I like the blue purplish undertone that it has. It's really pretty. Oh, I really like that one. This one looked really stunning. And then I also paired it with 8C for the lip liner. And it just worked out really well. So I really, really like that one. That one was gorgeous, really pretty color. All right, so next up I have shade 401 and I'm running out of arm space here. <laughs> this one is just more of a raspberry shade. It's really pretty too. Um, I really like the tones in this one as well. So that one's really gorgeous. So it is. And I also paired this with the shade 19C. So you can definitely see that it has a little bit more of that like cooler tone under it. So those are really nice. All right, so next up we have shade 500, and this is just a true vibrant lilac color, you guys. It reminds me a lot of the Tarte Purple, and what was that one called? That was like really like the Tarte one. I forgot what it was called, but it's that purple color from Tarte. But yeah, you can see it's very vibrant lilac shade. And then I paired it with this white one right here because there really wasn't a color that I could put with it. And this is the Lip Line Perfector. So basically this is just a clear lip liner that is gonna keep any shades from bleeding. So these are always great to have in your collection, just in case if you don't have a lip liner in the shade that you need it for your lipstick, put this on, it will help keep it in place. So I even filled in the whole lip with it, but it's just clear and it just keeps anything from bleeding out. 
All right, next up we have shade 501, and this one is more of an eggplant color. So you can see it right there. Yeah, that's like a true eggplant color. This is actually the one that I think was the patchy one, actually. I thought it was shade 600, but I think it's actually 501. But if you build with it, you're okay. You just have to build up the color to make it opaque. But yeah, it was definitely, I think this was definitely the one that was a little patchy. And the lip liner that I paired with it is shade 10C. I am running out of space. It's like on my elbow. But yeah, it's just another eggplant color. And then the last shade that we have here is shade 600, which is just a very dark, dark purple, like holy moly, super dark. I'm gonna swatch this one up here. Yeah, it was definitely that one that was patchy because this one swatched just fine. So as you guys can see, it definitely is a really dark, dark purple. And then I paired it with the lip liner 13C and it just looks like that. So it just matches perfectly with it. But um, but yeah, so those are all of the shades. Woo, got like a swatch tattoo on my arm. Dang. Oh. All right, so that is the end of these swatches. I hope that this video helped you guys to kind of see if this is gonna be something that you wanna get, and if it is, to see what color you wanna get. But yeah, I hope that this was really helpful for you guys, and if it was, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which shade is your favorite color in this whole new collection. Again, there's only 10 shades coming out. The lip liners are already available on Sephora.com or in store, I believe, because those aren't like new or anything. If I'm able to find out when these launch, I will let you guys know on Snapchat. But yeah, so don't forget to subscribe for future videos and future reviews. I'm just like admiring the swatch. All these swatches. This is going to be so much fun to wash off my arm. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.